Now let's learn how to create a pulse width modulated waveform using the PWM Express VI. The MyRio MXP connectors have three PWM lines each, while the MSP connector has two PWM lines. I'll get started here by right clicking and choosing the MyRio sub palette. Find the PWM Express VI right here. All right, looking at the configuration panel, you can pick from your available PWM outputs on the A, B, and C connectors. You can set this up to be adjustable or built into the Express VI. In this case, I'll have both of those be adjustable externally. Create two different controls here, one for the duty cycle and one for the frequency. Now you can also set this up to a constant value if you know that you do not need to change those values. You can pick values in hertz or kilohertz. Let's find out the range. If you click validate on any value that you pick, you can find out if it's a valid number. In this case, we find that 40 hertz is the minimum value and 40 kilohertz is the maximum value. Just to confirm, you can type in a one followed by a bunch of zeros, hit validate, and it says 40,000 hertz. In a similar way for duty cycle, you can set that to a constant value and you can preview that down here. There's a very narrow duty cycle, very low duty cycle, narrow pulses. Duty cycle up to one, and then it's constantly on. And of course, you can simply specify a desired value right here numerically. I'd like to point out that you can only manipulate one channel at a time. If you have need for multiple PWM channels, you'll need to place multiple PWM Express VIs. Make sure that this refers to a different channel, otherwise you're going to get a, a runtime error when it says that you have contention for the same resource.